Here we go. Well, folks, this is what we're dealing with for about two weeks now off and on. Uh, it's been like this for the past three days, and I don't know if you can see that well, but it's raining and it's just not drizzling. It's been pouring. So I've been getting a little bit of cabin fever and I need to go do something fishing orientated. So I'm just gonna take a little Christmas money and we're gonna go to a fishing retail. I'm not sure where I'm gonna go yet. And uh, I'm just gonna bring you guys along and show you guys what I get. So I'm not gonna spend a whole lot, but I am gonna get a few lures and stuff, uh, stuff that I need. So you know what I like to do is I like to go through my tackle and see what I actually need. I'm to the point where, you know, I know what I want, I know what I need, and I just keep on refilling everything that I use. You know, when I wanna use a jerk bait and I'm running low on them, I know what jerk baits I need to buy and refill. So that's all, it's just keeping it simple, and it's a good way just not to go out and use an excuse to buy just a bunch of random baits and waste your money because I used to do that in the past and you know I just gotta go out and oh this looks cool and I'd probably never use it uh, but you now but you know now stocking up on what I use and what I need saves you a lot of money and you don't have a lot of tackle that you're never going to use okay everyone so I got all my terminal tackle right now I'm looking at and we're pretty good honestly the only thing I think we'll need is a f maybe a few swim bait heads uh, bobber stops 3 8 ounce drop shot weights. Uh, that looks good. And, oh, hold on. And we need, this is a 4 odd EWG, so we need to get a pack of those. So what I'll do is I'll uh, type in everything that I need on my phone, and then I'll save that, and then when I get there, I'm not going to have to be guessing on what I needed or trying to remember. So, yeah, we're going to go through the rest of my tackle. Uh, but for terminal tackle, I'm pretty much stocked. So yeah. Okay, so we took our little inventory. Now I'm gonna brave the rain for a split second. Here we go. Try not to get the camera wet. Hey, here we go. We're safe and sound now. Alrighty guys, we are now on our way. Uh, I think I'm gonna go to Cabela's just because I haven't been there in a while and I got a Bass Pro so much, just feel like change it up. They also sell like a little bit different brands. I don't even know if you can hear me right now with all the rain and stuff, but, uh, but they sell different brands and I just feel like changing it up. It's a little bit different stuff today. Uh, but yeah, the weather's really nasty as you can see. It's been like this for three days. Like I'm scared to even look at any lakes around here because I think it's gonna be terrible. Yeah, enough talking guys. I'm gonna get to Gabella's battle this uh, this uh it's not really christmas traffic well i guess it is it's just like return traffic everybody's returning all their christmas gifts but traffic's still pretty bad but once i get there guys i'll get back to you Uh, do you have any blade baits? Like, um, when you say blade bait, like a spoon, or are you talking about like a spinner? An actual blade bait. Uh, it would be a little more specific. Like so that's, what me... that's what they're called. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, that, that's like that's one right there. Okay. Yeah. So these guys. Are yeah, there's there's two of them right there, and then there's the Johnson. Okay. So. Oh, oh, here they are. Here's one of them right there. I've never seen this kind, but that's one right there. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, like these. Like, see, these are all. Okay. Cool. Blade baits. Like, I think the original one was called the Silver Buddy. These are just silver streaks, but... Okay. Like, cicadas are them. Okay, I know what you're Yeah, talking. like the Sonar Flasher, that's a, gotcha. that's a specific one that, like, a lot of people sell. It's on this thing. Would you like to round up five cents for conservation youth education? Uh, sure. 73. Okay, everyone, I'm done with my little shopping spree. Now I'm going to go over what I got inside. Also, let me know if you like this type of video. This is something I could do in the winter to keep content posted on my page and keep you guys uh, up to date with what's going on. So let me know if you like this video. Uh, I can do more of them in the future. So it was 73 bucks overall, which was kind of expensive, but uh, whenever you go to these commercial retail stores, you're going to pay end up paying more money than you would if you were shopping online you know I think the best bang for your buck in tackle is a uh, tackle warehouse but I honestly don't like shopping at like Bass Pro Cabela's Feelings Dream Dick Sporting Goods stuff like that just because you do end up paying a lot more uh, than you would if you were going to tackle warehouse but I thought it would be a cool video just to go show you guys that's why I didn't spend like 300 bucks on tackle because I knew that uh, I'd be getting a pretty bad deal so the first bait that I got was the uh, Lucky Craft Pointer this is the Shallow Diver 78 SP this is what I used in my last video and uh, this color is an American Shad it's a good jerk bait my favorite kind of pricey but they are worth the money in my opinion Next up, I got some zoom chunks right here. Uh, you know, I've been on a decent football jig bite, although I don't know how good it's gonna be now with all this weather, but those are good for the back of the trailer. Uh, I did get my little drop shot weights. These are the Lunker City ones. These are really long and thin. So uh, compared to the ones I normally use, which is I think are just the Bass Pro ones, I'm not sure if I'll like these or not, but they're the only ones I had. Uh, but these are the heavier drop shot weights for fishing deep water in the winter time. Uh, next up, I got the, uh, what is this, the Callens, I think. is I'm not sure how you say Callens, Cals or something. Uh, just a swim bait head. It looked pretty decent. It was cheap, so I got it. This is an eighth ounce. Uh, just something I can throw this little Kytex on my spinning rods. Next up, I got a Rick Klon. This is the Lucky Strike Classic. This is a really little jerk bait, but... Uh, you know what you can do with these is put them on a spinning rod and it's a really finessey jerkbait bite. Uh, so that's a good color too. It's called Secret Night. But that little tiny jerkbait is a, something that's overlooked I think. A lot of people use those bigger jerkbaits. I personally like the, the littler ones. Uh, and it's just a really finessey one. Really finessey bait to get bites. So I got some Kytex swim baits. These are the Swing Impact. Uh, four inch and this color is in bluegill flash one of my favorite colors it's like a gray and it's got some blue and gray glitter in it or blue and black glitter in it uh, really good and then I did get two of my quarter ounce red eye shads this one's in gold gold black back and I think the next one is in gizzard shad so just some quarter ounces and then I got some 15 pound cigar red label good good line at a low price this stuff was really cheap at Cabela's normally it's like 13 14 bucks at uh, Bass Pro but Cabela's had it on uh, display for 10.99 so I picked some of that up I did get some pegs these aren't my favorite pegs but like I said they're the only one they had they didn't have a good selection of uh, you know a lot of stuff I use they only had like one or two of uh, the brands but this is an eco pro I just don't like these I think they're like really big and I don't know they're just not my favorite but they're the only ones I had, so I had to pick up some anyways, and they were cheap. They are like a buck, buck 90 or something. So that's all we got, guys. 
Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to check out my latest video, you can click right up here. And if you want to check out my channel, click up in this top hand corner. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully we'll get a video out here soon. And until next time guys, I'll see you later.